perfume reviews and happy 2014 and in the essence of it being 2014 I figured I would review the very first fragrance to be officially launched celebrity perfume wise in 2014 and that is Beyonce's Rise yes I have it like you guys know I'm very good at getting my perfumes early before they're officially launched now it is a secret I can't really tell you guys how I got this I just I got it so that I could review it for you guys. And I will be doing a review, or not so much a review, but a like a compilation video later of all the things I got for Christmas. But I did not get this for Christmas. I actually just received this today. I only received the uh, 1.7 ounce of it. I will be getting the 3.4 ounce later. And I can show you guys kind of the bottle difference later on that. But let's kind of dive right into it. So the box. Here we have a kind of whole new, because since Beyonce is, uh, this is a whole new line for Beyonce, we've kind of redone the box. Something we kind of seen before we have it. The box kind of reminds me of the same shape that Pulse came in, that kind of long, slender uh, box. On the front we had the words, Rise Beyonce Parfums. Um, down here it says, ED Parfum, 50 milliliter, um, 1.7 ounce. On the back, it is very simple. It's kind of this uh, gold, sparkly, uh, flowing, falling glitter sort of thing on it. The words Beyonce Rise Parfums are uh, raised on the front. All of the information and barcodes are on the bottom of the box. And up here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's our signature B. When you open the box, again, we have our uh, www.beyonceparfums.com, which this is actually not on her website yet. And then on the inside, it is just plain, that normal cardboard insert that's just white. So, there's that. Now, to the bottle. Here you go. It is, the, the liquid in this is like a, it's a very, very, very light yellow. It's very hard to see through. It like gets very, very, very see-through. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Um, up here on top, we've got uh, a crown sort of looking thing, which would be relevant for Miss Queen Bee. And then we had the words Beyonce Rise, or Rise Beyonce. And you've got like this uh, peak on each of the sides. The bottle itself is square. And it's kind of got an arc on each on each side, and then it kind of gets a little bit more slender as it goes down. You can see the uh, tube as it goes down. And the lid just comes off like that. On the inside, it is black, and then this is what it looks like: just a little black sprayer. Now. The notes for this, we got my handy dandy little perfume flashcard, which I made quickly just for you guys. Um, it has top notes of Italian, of apricot, Italian bergamot, and iced basil, basil sorbet. Mid notes of golden symphony orchid, freesia, and symbolic jasmine flower. With base notes of amber woods, cashmere, musk, and velveteer. Okay, so... In my opinion, now before I get too far into this, I want to kind of sum something up for you guys that a lot of people have, I've noticed it's been kind of a big thing lately, especially with seeing people talk about uh, Beyonce's fragrances. All of Beyonce's fragrances are uh, based around an orchid. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of different types of orchids, but Orchids don't actually have a scent. Um, when perfumers put the orchid in a scent, and even when I review a scent and I tell you guys I can smell the orchid, you can't... Orchid doesn't have a scent at all. The actual flower does not really have a scent. Some do, like the uh, vanilla orchid has like a little bit of a vanilla or smell to it. But it's more in like the seedling before the, it sprouts than the actual flower. Now this 
when I say I can smell the orchid, what I mean is I can smell what the perfumer put in there as the orchid scent. Like that exotic kind of flower scent in there. So, in my opinion, initially, straight off, let's kind of spray it. Kind of get you guys some scent. I'll do it on my left wrist. So, initially straight off, I have a, that, you can smell the basil, but the basil almost has a little bit of a vanilla to it. I, I, I know vanilla isn't listed as one of the notes, but it, it's kind of got like a little vanilla undertone to it. And that also could be the freesia kind of bouncing off. Um, it's kind of, it's very, it's very powerful, but it's very light. It's, um, I've kind of read some stuff and Beyonce has said this is more her more personal scent that she's ever released. And I can kind of see it because out of all her scents, this is what I would see Beyonce smelling like. Because it smells very, it's very powerful and very strong, but it's kind of got that like seductive sweetness to it. It's not sweet. This is nowhere near a sweet I. It's very light, and it's kind of, the bergamot's there, but it's very, 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 um, if and any, if that makes sense. It's there, but it's not. And, hold on, sorry guys. There's a, there's an, and I'm looking over the notes to see what I can smell. The apricot's there, but it's more there as it dries. And as it dries, it gets more powdery and more light, but still more strong. Now, I got this around, I'd say, noon. And the lasting power is amazing. It I sprayed it on myself, and it lasted. Like, I still have some on me, and that's kind of where I'm getting the dry down from. But as it kind of dries down and we get into the heart, you can smell the orchid. You can smell the, like, the Golden Symphony orchid that it's supposed to base, be based around. But... After all the reviews I've seen of this and all the promotional stuff that was kind of came out about it, and it said that the orchid was going to be very powerful in this, it's not. I don't really smell it unless that is the vanilla scent I'm smelling. But as it dries down, you can get more of that jasmine. The jasmine is really powerful in that base and that heart because it smell. You can smell the jasmine a lot, but that the uh, basil sorbet kind of. Uh, carries itself through the whole scent. I believe if I were to say that this was one scent to carry this whole thing, it would be the ice basil sorbet because it is there from the time you spray it till the time, you know, eight hours later. But as it dries down, you have the, you can smell the, like, in the woody kind of cashmere. And I, I guess the cashmere could be, the mix of the cashmere and the velveteer could be the vanilla as well I'm smelling. But you can smell a vanilla scent. It's probably her more... If she were to make a vanilla scent, this is what it is, in my opinion. But I've heard people say um, that the notes make it smell like coffee, like it could smell like coffee. No, it does not smell like coffee. But it's very light. It's very essence kind of... It's powerful. It's seductive it's something that could be worn at night or it could be worn during the day and i think that's very good on the packaging like the packaging shows like it's very dark up here but it's still light so what i think is because of the lasting power on this you could say go out for a night on the town on friday night with the girls and have to wake up and go to work saturday and still be able to have that scent on you and not smell like the night before because it has that carrying power where it could last now i don't know I'm, i'll kind of keep wearing it and see what i think but it does have a lasting effect like it is m way more mature than most of her scents like her her scents are very mature as they are but this is her most mature, and this is kind of her first fragrance. Like, Mrs. Carter Show 
and then her little other ones were released right after she had Blue Ivy. But this one, I think, is her realizing herself as a mother, and you can kind of smell the more grown upness to her. Now, I don't have an ad to tell you guys anything about because we haven't, you know, it just, it just, I just got it. It hasn't officially launched yet. It doesn't officially launch until late January, early February. But just so you guys do know that this is the, the Sh Beyonce secret, you know, a new ascent for women coming 2014. That was the, that this is the thing that uh, was talked about in my Mrs. Carter show review where I scanned the barcode and it's, I showed you guys that. This is it. Now, Beyonce is kind of, I think Beyonce is going to have a lot coming for us this year because she already released her album at the end of last year that nobody knew she was releasing. So, we'll, we'll see where 2014 takes Beyonce. I'm, I'm kind of hoping for another, 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 another scent from her this year. I won't say the name of it yet cause I have ideas, I've kind of talked to some people, I have my I have my insights, that's kind of where I got this from, but I have ideas of what it could be called, we'll see what happens. So, thank you again you guys for watching, I definitely will be getting you guys some, uh, a, another video later on for everything I got for Christmas, um, I did get one more thing that I'm, the reason I'm kind of delaying that video is because I'm waiting for that one last thing to get here, but other than that, I'll do my video as soon as I can. I got a lot, a lot of stuff for you guys. I got a fun, cool surprise for you guys in that video. So stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter, you guys. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks. Bye.